Hey folks, welcome to another how-to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at inverse normal and these types of problems and how to solve them on this particular Casio graphics calculator. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we want to be looking at is with question one, what we've got here is 0 0.2 as the left tail of this um, probability curve. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch on the calculator, click on menu, Go to stat mode and then under stat mode we're going to go into distributions which is f5 and we're going to click on f1 for normal and once we're there we're going to click on inverse normal which is f3 and here's where we're going to actually input this particular data now these for these four questions we're going to be looking at where the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the data is invariable. Go to tail and we're going to go with left for this because the area is on the left of left side of the curve. And we're going to put area as 0 0.2. Our standard deviation is going to be 1 and our mean is going to be 0. And if we go down, we should be able to hit calculate and that's going to give us a Z value. So for question 1, the Z value is negative 0.8416. Now we know that's correct because we know that zero is where it's it's right in the middle there. And so the Z value has to be a negative value. So we can kind of see that we've got a negative 0.8. So we should be on the right track. Now looking at question number two, we've got 0 0.35 as the area. And that's actually on the right side there. So we're going to exit this part and we're going to go back to the tail. And we're going to change the tail from left to right. And to click on right, we're going to do F2. And our area is changed now to be 0.35. And again, keeping the standard deviation of 1 and mean as 0. When we solve this, we're going to get a Z value here of 0 0.3853. And once again, we know that we're correct because 0 is right here and Z is on the positive side of things so we should get a positive value and in this case we've got 0 0.38 and that's that's pretty good for us all right looking at question number three here now question number three we've actually got 0 0.5 as the area and it's symmetrical so that means we've actually got 0.25 on the right hand side and 0.25 on the left hand side and the way we're going to do this one is if you go back to the inverse normal menu where this where it says tail we're going to change from right to center and to do that we've got f3 and our probability is going to be 0 0.5 and standard deviation is 1 and mean is 0. Now remember that if you are working with real world values then all you would do is you would just change the standard deviation and the mean to whatever your question is actually asking you to do. So in this case because it's symmetrical, we know that Z1 and Z2 is going to end up being the same, except one of them will be positive and one will be negative. So as you can see, Z1 is negative 0 0.6745. And Z2 is equal to positive 0 0.6745. Now, looking at question number four here. Now, question number four, we've got 0.5 as the area again, but it's not symmetrical. So we've actually got 0.4 on one side and then we've got 0.1 on the other side. So we've got to figure out two, we've still got to figure out Z1 and Z2. And the way we're going to do this is slightly differently. Well, actually you could, you could use left-right combinations, but what you won't be able to use is the center combination. So for Z1, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to do, uh, I'm going to color this part in here because I know this yellow part here is worth 0 0.1. So that means if I actually calculate Z1 with an area of 0.1 with the left tail, I should get Z1. Or I could actually do 0.9 for the right side of the graph and that should also give me Z1. So we're going to do both. So we're going to exit here. We're going to go to left first. And put that as hang on let's go left and we're gonna put that as 0.1 so we're getting negative 1.2816 and if we try right side 
and if we put it as 0 0.9, we should get the same value. And as you can see, you're getting negative 1.2816. So it just means that you can actually choose whichever way to do it, as long as you understand where the area is, which side the area is, and how you input that in the calculator. So if you look for Z2, we could actually do left side 0 0.6 or right side 0 0.4. Now, because we're already in the right side, I'm going to try 0.4. And what we get is 0 0.2533. And if I try the left side and I put that as 0 0.6, I should get the same value, which is 0.2533. So folks, that's pretty much how you do inverse normal questions on this particular Casio graphics calculator.